start from the beginning and then you yeah. can yeah, take I, I, you up from it. Um, I was, when I met Ren, um, we kind of exchanged, we were just attracted to each other based on um, health uh, to begin with anyway. And she um, was sharing with me about what she did and I t you know, t shared with her that I was a health coach and that that was my passion is helping people be physically, mentally, emotionally whole, you know, so they, their lives can be better. So I had not actually ever even heard of biofeedback before, but it absolutely fascinated me when she started, you know, sharing with me about it. And then she said, well, I'll, you know, I'll, let me, you know, do a free session for you. And um, so she did that and I, um, and that made me a believer to begin with because just the um, the premise of it itself, which is you know that your own body and everyone's bodies are so different, so you can't just have a prescribed method of taking care of everybody. You know, your own your own body is is um, its own unique. <laughs> um, uh, wonder and issues and so I think I look at biofeedback as a means of peeling away the onion skins and seeing what the true underlying issues are with your with your body and so um, you may have pain somewhere well um, you may have pain in your wrist but it's not necessarily from your wrist. It may be from you know something going on in your vertebrae. You may have pain in your body that's from your emotions, for that matter. So, to be able to identify those things, and you might have it. Uh, to me, for me, since I'm really um, conscious of what goes on with my body, it's almost. Um, it's exciting to me to have biofeedback because it's always a confirmation to me of what I'm uh, actually, you know, have an inkling about what, what, um, what needs to change. So whether it's, you know, stress reduction around a particular organ or um, bones or tissue or emotionally or what, you know, whatever that, wherever that that stress is coming from, I can not just, not only, you know, does biofeedback help with that and alleviate a, a lot of that stress, but it also um, can be an indicator for me to make an adjustment and, and you know, uh, intellectual decisions about what I'm eating or, you know, what, what else can help my body, what other kind of supplements can help my body or, um, and then I think one of the things I love best about biofeedback is the affirmations because um, a lot of times I think we don't understand how powerful our mind really is, our thoughts and, and, and our speech. And so with every biofeedback session there's um, affirmations programmed into the system. So um, I always I'm always excited to hear what those are and then I, you know, write them down and use them to change my own mind about myself, which is, I think, a huge deal. So talk about affirmations. What typically uh, would you um, use as an affirmation around um, a condition you have? Well, for instance, um, uh, you know, let's say I, I was exposed to some sort of environmental um, toxins that were um, compromising my lungs. Well, um, uh, through biofeedback, you know, not only do I get support for my lungs, but then an affirmation for that would be my lungs work perfectly well, or and I breathe normally. Or I mean, there's there's a, so to be able to think that and speak it, then that's to me that's helping the biofeedback along and it's your own you know the feedback is for you to be able to to be able to change you know instantaneously or transform you know instantaneously what's going on in your body i think it's um uh it's fascinating to me and 
and just and creator designed. I think that that's the thing that's amazing to me too. So.